So Mitch will be hopping in, I think, and he's just getting set up now. Oh, he's joining? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Hooray! I didn't realize. There! God! Mitch! He's oh. back! <laughs> Hey, and he's got a haircut! I know! Who's the popsicle? <laughs> okay! So, welcome back to Mitchith. How have you been? We've missed you. I've been alright. I've been, uh... I don't know. Busy. I got a... Mm -hmm. like, did I have... I didn't have a lightsaber last time I was on. I no. Yeah, you hadn't had it. I, 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 I bought a lightsaber. I've got a piano now. Yeah. Um, that was yesterday. He's a changed man. <laughs> yeah, I got a haircut. You have a lot of fans on Tumblr. A lot of oh, people have I? been asking about you. Oh, well, I so appreciate I was like, that. I was like, I, I don't know, he's busy. I can't, like, force him on the show. But thankfully, yeah. their prayers will be answered. But anyway, let's <laughs> jump into this episode. What did you guys think? You could be interpreted as a lot of ways. I'll just say it just straight up my thoughts on this. We've had, going straight into it, mm. The first character not from the MCU in the MCU, and presumably that version of Pietro is fr that is the X Men Pietro that mm. Wanda somehow brought into this. Maybe what she's doing is torn a hole in reality, yeah. and that's gonna lead into uh, Spider Man Three and Doctor Strange. Yeah. But I saw yeah. people talking about the line of um, uh, said you know ask um, when the boys asked, "Do you have a brother?" And she said, "Yeah, I do. He's from very he lives um, very far away." Yeah. It's like, and but yeah, it's um. I saw someone saying how it's um um, well, it's um my wording of it is that it's um there's a bit of a um a Full Metal Alchemist link here, and that the it's the laws of equal exchange. You can't just if she wants to bring when bring bringing Vision back, she had his body. Mm -hmm. to, um, there, bringing Pietro back. That's different because she a doesn't have access to Pietro's body at the moment. Hmm. We assume that he was buried or cremated or something, um, or I mean, I don't know if I actually got his body from, back from um, Sokovia after the after it collapsed. But um, but then um, uh, you know she can't just create him out of nothing. She needs hmm. to create if she wants to bring Pietro into this world. She needs to bring Pietro from somewhere, and so nearest Pietro around being one from an alternate universe. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, even um, I was just thinking, like, it sort of just substitutes because obviously the Pietro yeah. from that we know in the MCU is obviously dead, so it just substitutes yeah. it in. But also, again, like a lot of people have been saying on the internet, it makes sense for this Quicksilver to come in at this time because it is the 80s, and he yeah. was like that's a good young point. at that time yeah. in the 80s. I didn't even think of that. So yeah. yeah, even I didn't think of that either. I was like, oh shit, that's true. But yeah, yeah. um, so it yeah it opens that window for like all these characters to come in because like it's yeah. that perfect timing um but yeah i honestly like i was like if they do this this is a big step for like oh, the yeah. whole mcu like x-men everything coming in like and even yeah. not just the characters we know all the other x-men characters that are yeah. just we haven't seen yet like yes like finally but like yeah it also makes you think like who else they might bring on one division because um, mm. We were just talking about this before, Mitch, before you came on, but, like, because mm. um, Elizabeth was saying that the cameo that she was talking about was so sort of on par with the whole Luke Skywalker thing mm. that happened in The Mandalorian. So I was like, Evan Peters, I love him, but I was like, he's no Luke Skywalker. So yeah. I'm thinking that we might get somebody else. And me and Alice I... were just saying before it might be maybe Magneto. I think... Whether it be Michael Fassbender or mm. Ian McKellen, I would love the idea of, yeah, he just enters and Wanda isn't sure who he is. And he says, well, I'm, it's me, your father. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like, and just sort of, you know, the kids, like, like maybe the kids run up to him and call him grandpa and he hugs them and Wanda's sort of just like reacting to, Yeah, I think that would probably, that feel would probably fit, um, it was interesting. It would fit, I think, in, I mean, it would fit Ian McKellen more. And I would say that like, we've mm. already established that the, uh, father-son relationship between Quicksilver and Magneto is done with Michael Fassbender, but Michael Fassbender, the entire time he's been in, in next movies, he's playing the younger version of Ian McKellen's yeah. Magneto. So yeah. it would still work with uh, Ian true, being there. It yeah. would, yeah. Either way, yeah, I think it would work. But just, yeah, that would be amazing. Another step, like another mm. big X-Men figure coming in and, yeah. you know, Magneto, he's like one of the most powerful X-Men figures as well. I would I love that. that. I love him so much as well. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, it just makes me wonder who else they could bring in. Just like yeah. again, the doors are open. Who knows what they're gonna do? I, I, th 
think I don't know if he will be, but I wouldn't be surprised. It's not that big of a cameo, but I think it could happen. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Clint turns up towards the end because I think mm. that, especially like the whole thing of like how Wanda sort of snapped seemingly, I think he's probably one of the only people that could talk her down and get her to see reason because oh, like yeah. there's been, yeah, it's something established all the way back to, yeah, Age of Ultron that Wanda and Clint are like have a real connection because he is the one that convinced her to just don't be afraid you know, you can do this, that sort of thing. And then he's one that rescues her in Civil War. They have mm. that little conversation about Natasha and Vision at the end of Endgame. Like, they, those two have, have a real strong bond. So uh, the idea of uh, potentially what I was thinking is if um, Doctor Strange, if Steven comes along to deal with situation and he brings Clint with him because he knows Clint will be able to, or Clint went to Steven because mm. he needs someone's maybe. help to yeah, try and maybe, yeah. save her. So... I, I think we're definitely, regardless of anything else, I think definitely what's going to happen is in the final episode, everything's going to be going to hell, like things are going to be going really bad, and then you'll just see just a slingering portal just open and Steven will like fly in as like, Yay. you know, the sci science science <laughs> is failing here, we're trying to stop this, so he's here to, he's going to like force his way into the hex yeah, and get her out of there. You only see it very briefly in the episode, but it um, uh, looks like Wanda was like, she basically has locked it, you know, nobody can mm, get in yeah. right now. And like from showing the field going from like a light blue to like going to this deep red, then it's yeah. like I reckon yeah she's she's like she's securing the area, you know, quarantine yeah. um, like it's already quarantined anyway, but she's like just fully locking the place down so nobody can get in or out now. And mm. then, um, but then it's I guess like that's the other thing that Strange would be able to do, and like um, I'm assuming you could jump from one dimension into another and then back into this one. That's mm. why I mean, where if else he... did Peter come from? Yeah. He could probably, I don't know, use the like mirror dimension to create a barrier that he can then cross over into it and then deactivate the mirror dimension so he's in without having to walk through the field. Yeah. Mm. That would probably work. But um, I was going to say as well, um, speaking about Magneto and the whole idea of like him as like Wanda's father, that we got a mention of like first um, reference to them by name, I believe, in the MCU so far of Wanda mm. and Pietro's parents, um, mm, Irina yeah. and Oleg Maximoff. It's worth noting that in the comics there's like a big thing that um so it's like quite convoluted as well and I think I understand like like all, all the different iterations of like how they went through like retconning and then retconning back again um I think it's something like they first of all thought that they were just straight up Magneto's kids and then they found hmm. out later that their parents are actually Irina and all like Maximov, they later found out they were adopted by them because there was this one woman who had met Eric. And guess what happened? Yeah. <laughs> it's Michael Fassbender. Yeah. yeah. And then, <laughs> and then that, um, um, yeah, she then gave birth to Wonder and Pietro, but then gave up the twins to be raised by Irina and Oleg. And so on. <laughs> it's the other thing as well that you could assume, all right, well, was. Was there an is was there an Eric Lencher in this universe that was you know yeah. Wanda and Pietro Aaron Taylor Johnson Pietro's um, biological father like was he or was it not or was it different or is in the universe that Pietro Evan Peters Pietro has come from was that the case and so on and mm. is like Wanda in like sort of slowly building out this family you know around herself bringing bringing everybody together. Of uh, first of all Billy and Tommy, second mm. of all Pietro, and then see what happens next. But then potentially if she's then like starts thinking about her parents, especially with him around, probably talking about them as well, connecting mm, more so like true. back to thinking of them. Would we then see if you know her? You know, he sort of like goes, "Well, I do have a fa I I I knew my father, you know," and then. Could he then be brought into the frame? I, like I mean, I think it would make sense if, like, the whole thing you're talking about of, like, having to take um, hmm. someone from somewhere to fulfill this role, like, how she doesn't have uh, access to bring her brother, her Pietro, back to life. And so she found another Pietro that, well, that Pietro has a father. Mm. And this yeah. Pietro is, and this Pietro is still her brother and how the world she's created. Yeah. So I could see it being um, that she gets one second <clears throat> sorry <laughs> I I had to sneeze. um um but yeah no it's just so like if 
yeah, she needs, she wants like uh, her father in some way and a grandfather to her kids. And so, well, Pietro has a, has a father where he's from. And then for that role as well, which I hadn't even thought of until I started talking about earlier, that, um, yeah, the whole notion of it's not she's casting some, yeah, that's it, she's casting someone as her father because she wants to, no, she wants to, like, she's getting a grandfather to her kids. And that case, I think that definitely would be in McKellen's Magneto. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah. but More than Michael Fassbender, because, yeah, yeah, Michael Fassbender, I mean, he's an amazing actor. I would love to see him again in, like, as like Magneto mm. but yeah it would make sense more for Ian to be like the grandfather figure and yeah. fit that role um it would but yeah I think it just the idea of just like yeah another knock on the door and he just walks in yeah. and probably yeah, the kids might just probably run up to him and see his grandpa and just and hug and just he hugs them and one just so like sort of adjusting to this but then sort of starts to go along with it mm. you know like a, yeah because uh, even we could yeah. see in the end of this episode she was a little bit uncomfortable she was like yeah like pietro but she looked a little bit like mm, yeah. you're not yeah, the pietro yeah. i know but yeah. she just accepted it because it was like her brother so yeah. if well, I mean, if it does it's... come to oh sorry you go oh i was gonna say it's the same as um uh with vision's corpse it's like mm. we kind of we sort of are kind of setting up the idea that like she she knows that all of this is false we got to see that even more so in this episode when she left the field and mm. um seeing how it's like she sees the the cracks in this reality she sees the falsehoods here that everybody else doesn't but she mm. is looking past that because she's trying to have this perfect world created for herself it's like i know that this isn't my pietro but this is a pietro and this is like mm. you know this is yeah. this cat he can be my brother he can be um, yeah. my um my children's uncle you know and so mm. I feel like that's kind of the way that she'd be looking at it all. And it's like sort of she's apprehensive first as much as she would be as well about like sort of first of all finding Vision's dead body and reanimating him. But then it's like, no, your Vision, you're my wonderful husband. You know, it's like, mm. and then so like keeping up that pretense so that everybody else believes it then. Mm. But yeah. Um, um, I was going to say about when she came out of the field, nothing just yeah. occurred to me. It's, it's just a very tiny little thing. But when she came out of the field and she... Uh, mind controlled like all of the soldiers and everything. It was, it's 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 different. It's changing people's minds, not altering their weapons or anything. But it's it was which so she did just a full Magneto move as she turned all mm. their guns on their leader. Yeah, you know that's was, like one yeah. of his moves. Oh, I hadn't you know, even thought of that. You oh, know, that's, that's so like, true. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like oh. sort of that's the thing he does. That's his signature move. That's yeah. yeah. Points, points all like the guns. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Um, oh, that's the best. Oh. I, I, I'm actually, I don't know the direction we're going. I do think it is possible that there could be, um, there could be someone pulling the strings. Like, we'll, we'll come back to that great scene towards the end mm. between Vision and Wanda. But the mm. one line he said the there about was I. Scene. <laughs> yeah, that's everyone's making this just the marriage story scene. You literally. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, but everybody's. Well, the reference he made to face said that I, he has to believe that she wasn't conscious of this at first. Mm. And mm. I'm not sure if there's someone pulling strings, but it's an interesting idea that someone said, if, like potentially for Doctor Strange, if, with the direction we're going, that mm -hmm. the, the idea that maybe in Doctor Strange for most of the movie, she's not Steven's apprentice, she's one of the antagonists. That's what I actually hope so. Because yeah, having her as an antagonist, it'll be like, oh my God, that would be so yeah. good. Um, uh, but yeah, it, it does. I'm not, yeah, I, I just, it's, they're writing it a really good way. I just can't mm. tell if mm, she's being yeah. manipulated or she yeah. really has just snapped. That's the good the, thing. Yeah. yeah. What I think at the it's moment she like, is, I was going to say, oh, sorry, it, it, I was just going to say, it's very much, um, reminding me of, um, uh, like going into the last Jedi. It's sort of like the whole film, like mm. from the start, you don't know which way Ben's going to go by the end mm. of it, you know, yeah. you don't know yeah. whether he's going to like, just go all in and you know sort of like you know just like give in to this sort of more villainous role that he is being forced into by everyone around him or is he going to fight to step away from it and i feel mm. like it's going to be the same sort of thing with wanda it's like you, you just don't know yeah. Yeah. And, yeah the um we just don't know what we just don't know what to expect um <laughs> but yeah what is yeah i just because i think i think she's like completely evil now but i don't think that's like She's completely evil whether or not she's aware of her actions or not. 
she's still she's acting evil and she sort of mm. can't stop herself from acting in this way yeah i think she's just very obsessive and we saw yeah. that even even at the beginning of the episode i sort of had to pause and be like whoa even when the kids wouldn't stop crying she was like yeah. why won't you do what i d want you to do yeah. and i was like yeah that was, that was yeah. i was like jesus yeah. that like that's such a simple line but it's so yeah. dark because she's talking to her kids so I was like, no, and she's no. and the ma yeah, she's literally just trying to use her magic to manipulate them, and they're not taking, not going for it, and she's exactly. getting annoyed that they're not doing what she. And then even towards yeah. the end, we see how hypocritical she was, especially again with the kids. She was like, you know, nothing lasts forever, and it's like, girl, you brought yeah. back your dead husband. <laughs> yeah, and it, so this is the thing. This is what I'm interested about. Is I want to know the wonder we saw at the end of Endgame. Mm -hmm didn't seem like she was playing to go steal Vision's body and bring him back to life. She seems she seems like at peace of his death almost. Like the the line mm. when when Clint says, you know, about Natasha, I wish there was some way that we could like tell her that we won. Just let her know that we won. There was all for it was wasn't for nothing. And then just one says out, oh, you know, was it she knows. They both do. So like her and Clint are just like sort of accepting yeah, they accepted of, it, yeah. You know. So what made her snap and go and steal his body? Is what i'm wondering well there are a couple of theories on that and after you sent me that little like photo alex i went and actually had a look and um this is just a theory and everybody's mm. theorizing that maybe agatha had something to do with it agatha harkness had mm. something to do with sort of being like oh you know you can have this whole life with vision if you bring him back and maybe have manipulated her um and you know there is that theory again of mephisto and etc mm. getting that deal with him like re bleh, resurrecting um mm. vision so i mean there's a, a multitude of possibilities but yeah i would like to see what tipped her over the edge because even in this episode we saw sort of flashes of scenes we've never seen before of her crying mm. so i'm guessing something had to have happened and maybe it was PTSD or something, and then she was like, I need to bring him back. Yeah. It's um, another thing in the writing I'm really like is I have no idea if Agnes is I don't know if she's a hundred percent um part of me feels like she's just she's trying to help. Like she's Did you tell him our theory, Alex? About Agatha Harkness. Yeah. Um bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. It's um so mm -hmm. yeah. Agatha is a character from the comics who is basically, she is um, a witch from the Salem Witch Trials mm -hmm. originally. She's lived for hundreds of years and then she ends up sort of mentoring Wanda in like sort of real magic and so on. She mm -hmm. basically sort of has a sort of like kind of mentor and adoptive mother sort of role almost or more like an aunt really. And one of the major comic arcs that she turned up in in um, comics history is when Vision had died. Right. Wanda was overcome with grief and started a new life for herself, raising these two kids that she'd created out of a deal right. with Mephisto. And right. Agatha came along to try and sort of console her about how this isn't real. This is like, you just made okay. this up. And then what she ended up doing was wiping Wanda's mind of, so she forgot that she'd right. ever, ha ever been with Vision. And, you know. Right. So like, yeah. Okay, now that is what I'm... Yeah, okay, that makes total sense. That's exactly what I'm thinking. I think she's like... She is... She wants to help Wanda in some way, and she doesn't mm -hmm. want yeah. her to keep doing this. Uh, other crazy theory hacks. I know that when there was all the rumors circulating for ages that Evan Peters is going to be in the show, and I, like... Up until just before they showed it, I thought... Nah, they wouldn't. That's that's too crazy. Yeah, that was me too. Because I saw the back of his head and I thought, he's got the silver hair. And I thought, I mean, Aaron kind of had the silver hair, but that's very silver. Yeah, yeah and also the black tips, because yeah. Aaron didn't have black tips. Yeah. So I was like, that is Evan Peters. And I yeah. thought, I thought, no way. There's no way. And then they just <laughs> a shot of him and thought, they actually did it, yeah. you know? It's like, and... <laughs> But then here's an interesting idea. Um, son of a bitch, you did it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't be as it wouldn't be as cool because I really like the idea. That this is just this is X Men, X Men Pietro. It wouldn't be as cool. But I'm wondering about all, there was all the rumors that if Evans playing Mephisto, what if that's mm. Mephisto posing as uh, Quicksilver? Or the reason the way it's um gotten uh mixed up the people think evan's playing mephisto is he's playing mephisto who's taken on the form of pietro 
but that's not the actor that that's not what mm. whoever that's not is the actually, actor who yeah, is going to be Mephisto. That is Evan Peters playing Mephisto, posing as Pietro, and maybe mm. he'll remove the shroud at one point. And we'll see who's actually playing Mephisto. That's a possibility. In that case, it's it still, is a possibility. Yeah. In that case, that would still, even if that doesn't mean that that, that is um that is X-Men's Quicksilver, it still means he's posing as a version of Quicksilver and he picked the wrong one that's the correct one for Wanda, but yeah. he picked a version of Pietro that exists somewhere. So that would still confirm, like... Uh, that's a good theory, uh, though. You know, it the could make... It makes sense, though. That, that's, that would be my logic, that maybe that's the reason people think that um, Evan was playing Mephisto is because there's some scenes where he performs as Mephisto, but he's not what he, Mephisto actually looks mm. like. This is him posing as Pietro. So that's the possibility. Alternatively, there's the idea that um, a, at some point towards the end, like, he just gets possessed by him as part of, like... That's know, true. And that was something that, like, oh, yeah, that's there's true. a scene where, you know, okay, so Evan's Mephisto in this scene would have been yeah. the thing that was said to some to, an, to one of the scoopers, and it's like, oh, so he's playing Mephisto, and it's like, yeah. not knowing that I could... it's just in this yeah. moment he's possessed by him. Yeah. I could... Oh, God, what if what if Vision get got possessed at one point? Oh! Yeah. And then Maybe. he's like, yeah. Paul, just play, Paul is vision just plays these the, the main bad guy here is just being yeah. controlled. Um, I think uh, 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 if it's if, unless we have something else to say about that, I think we should talk about that final scene between Wonder and Vision. I was going to say, yeah. like, yeah. I I was blown away by Elizabeth and Paul. They were so yeah. good. They were like, because I I loved them already, but just mm, seeing yeah. them as Vision and Wonder arguing, I was like. God damn, these two yeah. are such good actors, and they better be nominated uh, next year or this year, whenever it is, <laughs> like the awards, because they deserve it. It was so good, and yeah, it was definitely like a Marriage Story version, yeah. <laughs> but in the Marvel universe. I, it was just there was I really liked the idea and the sort of setup there. He said like you know you can keep manipulating people, you can keep trying to do everything, but you're not you can't fool me. No matter how mm. hard you try, you can't make me, you can't trick me. I know what you're doing. You know, and and the, even just her dark, yeah. like, can't I? I was like, yeah, dude, yeah. you are yeah. the girl. <laughs> I, I really like the bit as well when the like that she starts rolling the credits, and then we just like barge through the door and like sort of just stops them yeah. because he's like, you know, just just, just stop the act, Wanda. Yeah. Like we're just you know so that sort good. of thing. He's just and I I, I like the sort of that moment as well, like so sort of suggesting that you know that he's you know just been outside burying Sparky. And so he's like, he's just had a, you know, he's had a shit day. He's, you know, started to realize the cracks, what's going on. You know, his, his sons are like, all, are upset because their dog died. He has to have to be spend this, like the evening burying this dog. And he's just like, so sick of like, you know, I said the line, it's not every day you get a dog and have to bury it the same day. It's like, you know, it's this narrative that she's created and stuff happening in this world that he's stuck in this, all this shit happening every day. You know, he's got to deal with all this stuff. Every day I wake up and it's a different sitcom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just, I really, I really like the idea. He's like that, you know, she's, he's been kind of playing along a bit, but it's like, mm. he's sick of this game. Yeah, for the last two episodes, I think it's him just playing along, especially since the kids were born. Because mm, um, yeah. at that very, the end of episode four, yeah, um, he's sort of like, hmm. Yeah this is weird um but yeah i can't wait to see the tension rising because you can already see like he does not trust wanda especially in that last scene where he's like mm. did you make that happen it's just yeah it's so good and just i always i keep saying this just like the dialogue and the story is just not story is simple but like the dialogue's so simple but the mm. way it's being delivered it just has so much emotion and just yeah. like uh like i don't know how to say it but just it it hits you and it's just like impact. yeah impact yeah it's just so good and it's just like this is why i think marvel also need to just keep making shows now especially yeah. this yeah. Is, if this is what they're doing yeah. then they just need to just keep doing it yeah this is the this is like this is the this is the, f the first example of like one of these this is like it's like um I'd say even more so than, like, if Iron Man 1 is, like, an example of, you know, okay, this is the establishment of, like, this kind of approach mm. to storytelling we're going to do. And that was, like, what a, what a way oh, to yeah. get off. I'd say One Division has succeeded in that approach of, like, okay, this is the first of this kind of thing that we're going to do. It succeeded even more so in that respect of, like, sort of being a, you know, okay, mm. so this is this new thing we're going to be trying. This is how we're going to do things alongside it, what we're already doing. And, like, yeah, yeah. It, it's just... It's brilliant. Uh, uh, having... 
uh, me and Zana just finished watching a few days ago, just finished watching season one of Daredevil. Yeah. Having just, just finished watching that. It's like, like the movies are great. Love the movies. They're a major important part of the MCU storytelling. But the TV shows are so cool because you can tell stories you'd only be able to tell in comics because you don't have time in a movie. Yeah. You can yeah. tell this multiple issue story and like extend it out and have cliffhangers and then set up stuff for the next episode, all this stuff and have a mystery going on. You can't do that in the movies. You don't have time. Yeah. And so it's like, it's like, it's so cool. I really hope they keep going ahead with the, the movies and stuff because they can just, you can't focus like an MCU. Uh, this is why I'm really excited. The idea that I don't even know if it's a rumor. It's just, it's just literally something that I was theorizing. Zan, I really hope to do of a MCU Spider-Man series after. Oh Spider-Man yeah. 3. Alex said that to me last yeah. week. After Peter's dealing with the fallout of what happens in Spider-Man 3 and he's just going about his life now. We're just seeing like a, a series about him as Spider-Man. And what you can do there is you can't like all sort of the friendly neighborhood aspects of Spider-Man, like Peter having to deal with, you know, um, having trying to make money for work, trying to study, trying to be Spider-Man, all this stuff. You can only have so much time for that in the movie. Yeah. But you can have multiple scenes of that in each episode of a tv show to have just peter just going about his daily life mm. and that's the sort of thing that's like a very important part of a spider-man story that you don't get to do in something as we're only two hours of runtime yeah there's so I'm, much more character I'm development you can do in tv than in I movies know, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah like like just think uh spider-man 2 and the whole plot line in that of peter like giving up being spider-man and everything and obviously that has to be resolved in the run of the movie and there's like they recreate the comic panel there's a shot of like the trash can the suit in it as peter walks away imagine a tv spider-man series the episode could end with that yeah of peter walking away leaving the suit and then that's it the end yeah. and then next yeah. week we'll find out what happens next that's just the sort of thing that uh yeah that we, the, the potential of that and that's what um there's all the people like that uh, uh what do you call it sort of complaining about one division it's like you know they're, they're, they're not giving us enough they're not giving us enough in each episode we only get once a week we need you know just release two, multiple episodes or everything and so they were saying that the netflix binge release has ruined people's perception of tv mm. because they just they're yeah. so impatient you know oh yeah and this is so, what we were talking about this too like a couple like even when we were doing mandalorian we spoke about mm. this like i feel like this marketing system is so much better because totally, every 100%. week yeah every week you're like oh what's going to happen yeah. next? Like you're talking about it for days and days with different, different people in your Everywhere. friendship circle. Everyone. Every, every and... week I wake up and there's a new episode of one division, yeah. you know, <laughs> like, exactly. <laughs> Literally. And yeah, yeah, I don't know with binging, like I've always done examples of this and hmm. yeah, just shows will be spoken about for like maybe a week or two, if you're lucky yeah. and yeah. that's it. It disappears. But then with this, it's like, you're talking about it for like, be- at least even three if months. It's not a mini series or something. Mm. Even if there's multiple seasons of it, and you know there is going to be another season, you're not going to talk about it until the next season comes along. Mm. Some people might like the really mm. hardcore fans, but it's no in no way is it going to dominate the conversation for like a, a solid week or something mm. over yeah. a period of like two months or something. It's going to be like, all right, there's a new season next. We're going to find out what happens next. Eventually, let's just go do something in another else year. In the yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Because you can't obsess about it for over a year because exactly. you lose your mind. So you just exactly. have to think about other stuff. Uh-huh. And there's so, other things that come along and distract you in the meantime. Yeah. You know. Cause it's, exactly. Yeah, WandaVision, it's like, because it's there's not that many episodes. You're mm. really small at once. You could watch all the episodes in a day and that'd be it. Done. Um, all the spoilers, everything leaked as soon as the show's released. Yeah. No surprises. And just, yeah, that's, that's continually the thing. I remember I saw... Um, uh xander showed me the trailer for was it uh blood of the gods the blood of zeus, blood of zeus. oh blood of zeus the, yeah. the, the netflix um animated series and he mm. showed the trailer I thought, I thought that looks amazing why did nobody talk about that why haven't i heard nobody talking yeah. about it and, and, I, and i said to xander oh wait no i remember people talked about it for a week and yeah, then literally. that was it <laughs> that was it yeah and because it just they really saw it so, okay yeah that's why that's why it only existed for that long because that was it yeah and, you know um and so it's like there's just some things where it's like there's some things where it would work. Anyway, back to one division. Yeah, back to. <laughs> we were, I think we were talking. We were talking about yeah, uh, uh, binge releases bad most of the time. Yeah, no, no most hype. of the time. That's basically what we're saying. Binge bad, weekly good. Exactly. Right. Um, Continue. Um, I just saw. Uh, it was yeah. Um, I thought of it at the time. I was just like, it's one of those moments in the episode that just had me grinning watching it, and then mm-hmm. I saw someone tweeting about it earlier. It's like a bit of like just. That one shot oh, yeah. of just like, yeah, Jimmy just like walking in, smiling. Like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> like, 
<laughs> he's at his happiest doing what he loves. <laughs> I've loved seeing like all of the all the love for Jimmy through the Yes, the it's so week. good. <laughs> and because it's I remember um when I first heard that they were gonna have Jimmy Woo in Ant Man the Wasp, I like I'd heard bits and pieces about him like from like some of the different Marvel rep- reference books I read and how like mm. he's like a major character, it's like he's the leader of this team called the Agents of Atlas. And yeah. He and so I thought, oh, cool. He's like a really interesting character. And I was kind of like a little bit not. I mean, like he was still he was still a good character. But it's like it's like when I was like expecting this like really like interesting like badass mm. character that he's sort of set up as in the comics, and then sort of like he's more just like a kind of comic relief character in the mm. film. I like the way that as some people said as well, like pointing out in one division, they said it's sort of he's still like he's still just like a really still like you know funny and still like you know sort of sweet like mm. very much normal guy character in in one division but sort of like he's just a little more he's more capable here he's more experienced but like yeah. in a way that perfectly like he takes his job seriously point. yeah and then they said as well it's like um they said like of course he wouldn't be taking things seriously in anime and the wasp when he is like comically missing out on all of like the serious states <laughs> exactly that at hand he just thinks he's just checking in on you know on scott who's just like oh yeah it's just like yeah this is just a simple thing we got to do but this mm. is a missing persons case involving two Avengers holding a town hostage. And no. so, of course, he's yeah. taking this seriously. And there's, like, all the people saying, like, okay, are we going to slowly build him out into being, like, this really, like, sort of, like, like, this really, really cool, you know, sort of, mm. like, you know, really capable and, like, powerful character. Yeah. The head. There's also, like, I've seen people, um, I think, um, uh, Simu Lu, the, um, uh, Shang-Chi. For, and Shang Chi's um, Ten Rings. He's so um, excited for that. Hinted that um, if they were to do an Agents of Atlas show, he's like, yeah, I'm in for that. <laughs> so I think in some yeah, of the of the team, Shang Chi is a member of uh, the team, and Jimmy's in charge of it. And it's like, who knows? Who knows? Who but knows? yeah, I think I reckon I really, really like it if we get to see more of like, um, if if not just Jimmy, then like Jimmy and Darcy, if they like sort of turn up every now and then throughout like different MCU yeah. shows going ahead. I know there's people thinking the two of them could easily be in um, Secret Invasion as well. Mm. We'll do that. Mm. Uh, someone said the thing, um, Hayward. I think his name's Hayward. I literally was about to say that. Yeah. Hayward. Um, yeah. Someone said that, are we are we actually sure? Is he, is he more than just like a, a dick, as like Darcy said? But like, is he actually, yeah. is he... What if he's actually a bad guy? Someone said, what if he's Hydra? What if he's related to... That's Maybe. Possible? What if he's got some connections to Strucker? Her, oh you know, maybe because even my, yeah. michael uh, well everybody on my channel knows who michael is he's my manager <laughs> but he was saying he's i i didn't agree with him saying he's mephisto yeah. but he uh i mean like under the influence of mephisto maybe but um i was still saying like it's possible he's a villain because he kept antagonizing wanda from the very beginning and i was like and even michael pointed this out and i went and looked there's hexagons on the it's it's a it's a far fetch but there's hexagons yeah. in his office yeah in, so I was like, over his office. I remember seeing that. I was like, hmm. Yeah, I, it's, a, I, I say it's possible he's Mephisto, but I think it's I'm just possible. Not sure, but, though, yeah, yeah, I don't it, know. It, 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 it's 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 possible, but I feel like I don't know. Maybe who knows? Yeah, yeah maybe it's possible, but Our, we'll find out. Maybe he could certainly, he's certainly, probably uh, under his control in some way. I mean, Hydra though, that could be more yeah. possible. That, that being is, true, that is possible. Yeah, I'm gonna say without a shadow of a doubt, I mm-hmm. reckon he's gonna die at the end. Oh of this yeah, series, I, I was thinking that too. Because I was thinking as well when he first turned up, I thought, wait a minute, he's the director of Sword. I thought Sword, the group that Nick Fury and Talos and Maria Hill are a part of, and I thought, I like, I don't see him being the director of it like in future things. It just like kind of wouldn't mm. make sense. Like from he just seems like 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 Darcy said, he seems like a dick. Yeah. So I don't like yeah. him. <laughs> yeah, he's just some dude. And, yeah. And so, 100. percent He's gonna die. Someone else is gonna become again mm. have to become the director at the end. Yeah. That's how we introduce either Abigail Brand or mm. whomever. But yeah. What were you gonna say, Mitch? You were, you said you wanted to say something. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll say one more thing. This is about One Division, uh, and then we can talk more about sidetrack oh, stuff. One Division. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's over here. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, I was gonna say one of my favorite little meta jokes in the entire episode. In fact, one of my favorite little meta jokes in the entirety of probably marvel was this little that one little moment 
when someone like said that you know talking about Wanda's power and everything, it's like so she can't be that powerful, can she? So she took on Thanos. You know, he was she almost you know defeated him clear. No one even came close. And the truth is, I wager Captain Marvel came pretty close. <laughs> it's just like that little, just a little like the conversations you see all the time on Twitter. It's just it's, like yeah, I was gonna say that too. This is literally like us and the rest of the group yeah. all chatting, be like, who's the strongest Avenger? And this yeah. is literally us in like a conversation on. But TV. they did make it. They did make a good point. They said, well, both of their power didn't they say both of their powers came from infinity stones so did, did i've forgotten did, did carol's powers yes. come from infinity stones uh oh. no no not 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 captain marvel hers came from that no oh oh that's yeah, right when both their powers came from infinity stones they mean uh, wonder and thanos yeah okay ah, yeah, 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 yeah. all right that makes more sense yeah yeah, yeah. okay but yeah, no, I just love that little line of like, you know, she's the only one that came close. And she, no, I think Captain Marvel came pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Yeah. And I think it's like also a little hint to what we might see even in Captain Marvel 2, especially yeah. with Monica, especially how Monica reacts. She's like, yeah, exactly. Mm, yeah. yeah, it's still a touchy subject for her. So she might hold, mm. she might have a little bit of animosity towards Carol of like, okay, like, where were you when my mother yeah. Was, yeah. was dying? You know? Yeah, you were too and busy then, off saving the universe. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And it's, yeah. I, I reckon I saw that um there's a um, side note about Captain Marvel. I saw it's the thing people yeah. pointing out the other day of um uh the bit when Carol's fighting Thanos to say like she is furious when she's fighting him. Like she's like it makes know, sense now. And, like, she's just like boiling over with rage uh, mm. like because yeah. her best her best friend died and her best friend didn't get to say goodbye to her daughter because her daughter was killed by Thanos and so yeah. like she is just absolutely yeah. furious. So, yeah, yeah, I remember on Tumblr seeing that, and everyone was like, "Now I understand the bitch face for why she when she was yeah. patching up that last And I was like, "Oh yeah, that actually makes sense now." Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's like, yeah, it's well deserved from it was, to get yeah. to Thanos. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting point out then that it's like you know, not just they're powerful enough as it is, but on top of that, on top of that, um, Wanda and Carol when they're both fighting Thanos, their powers are elevated because they're fueled by rage when they're like fighting him so like he yeah. has absolutely no chance against either of them because both of them as with their already powerful abilities as that's being doubled by how angry they by are emotion. And how much, yeah yeah and it's like that wonder was going to i think that's the thing they directed her she was gonna she was gonna tear him apart probably literally, literally. Or cr- probably gonna, tear him apart or crush well him. she was like she was pulling remember. his arms out like that and pulling oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So pull him she, she could have if he didn't rain fire yeah yeah she literally could have yeah. She's, so like, the pow- she's the most yeah, powerful event with, in my book. And then, yeah. yeah, and then the only time, the only Thanos only had, had, was only able to once he had one, at least, well, he's holding all the stones to hold her back and then just one to yeah, he just grabbed her, one you know, so it's like, yeah, yeah, no, but yeah, I do, I did like that little reference, just like one of the best little, like, I think meta uh, references jokes that are yeah. seen in, in the show because it's just, it's just, it's so accurate. It is. <laughs> you know. Predictions for next week? Oh, yeah. Uh, it'll be a 90s set next week, I think. Is this going to be that? Isn't that what I that's... think it's the Halloween episode. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was thinking as well. Um, yeah. So Vision is going to transform into his full self then. Because that's what the oh, trailer yeah, showed. The way oh, he's, yeah. The in Halloween, the he, like, trailer, sort of, yeah. he like flies up and his Halloween costume like fades away and he's in his full like Vision costume for the first time. Oh, so Michael was right. Oops, I need to give him an <laughs> apology because I was like, no, that's not the episode. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I'm pretty sure it's in that scene as well that we saw in the trailer, where in in his full, oh now I get that line full sorry in his full vision costume where he encounters Agnes in the and car? she's like so, she's sort of frozen yeah and he touches her and she jumps and everything and it says like was it am I dead she's yeah like, am why I would dead? you think that because you are yeah so she knows he's dead and she like snapped out of this so it's maybe whatever one she does an episode. Obviously- what he did to her is he, like he did the same thing he did to Norm of you know yeah like with that's the- also something yeah. that he yeah um Vision can take people out of the illusion yeah. Yeah, yeah because of his powers yeah people. but also that was quickly we're going back to mm. what we should have talked about before but even I just didn't realize how much like Vision doesn't know like I yeah. thought like at least Wanda was maybe blocking his memories but it seems like with this resurrection he's lost every memory he's ever had of yeah, the avengers yeah. of how he was created by ultron everything mm, so yeah. i saw one yeah. thing someone suggested of um uh what is it of how like what sort of state he's actually in at the mm. moment they said it's less so that wanda is like completely just sort of controlling him and puppeteering mm. him they said it's more like she's um she's basically filling in for what the mind stone was doing like, yeah the mind stone is what was oh she's like, powered by oh 
Because she's yeah. powered by yeah. the mind. She's yeah, powered, by, she's the powered yeah. by it. Yeah. Okay, I never thought that. Yeah, she's powered by the mind stone. The mind stone without vision, he can't exist with it. She's probably expending a hell of amount of energy just to. She's literally using her powers to replace it to mm. power vision, but essentially. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I didn't even think of that. That's how it yeah. works. Okay, so yeah. that's how she's brought him back. Yeah. So it's like, and because it's um again, it's some um, thing from the comics, and this is like, yeah, um, um, something that's like, yeah, first read about ages ago in one of uh, like Avengers reference books I got years back. Mm. But like, there was this whole arc where it wasn't the Mind Stone in the comics; it was just like this sort of this particular like sort of gem from space that was in yeah. Vision's head. That had been removed or destroyed at one point, and then what happened was, first of all, he just turned entirely silver, which we saw in Endgame and in and in I mean, I'm Infinity War and in this, and then, mm. but like he was still he was still alive, but he like he just like he didn't have his soul. He was just mm. like he was just a machine, mm. you know. He wasn't a person or a being like he had been before. And then it's like, I reckon it's that same sort of thing of like, one is able to bring back who he is, but like at the same time, like, she's just choosing what amount to bring back of like, spring back yeah. his essence, not his memory. Uh, yeah, you know. and maybe the memory or, of just his love for her. Yeah. 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 Or it's sort of the opposite of what it was in the comics. You said that he was everything, he was alive after the stone was removed, but everything that was him. Mm. Yeah. was gone maybe it's the yeah. opposite is that he it's can't live without it but his memory still exists in there yeah like, like, mm. he, him as, as well, who he is people. still exists in there there's mm. the other thing as well of um uh when shuri was trying to back up his essence his mind and so on mm. still pointing out like she was almost done you know yeah like she was like that's true and, like it's not that it's just that she didn't complete the process but like there is then like in like a server in wakanda somewhere all of vision's mind is in there you know and so potentially it's like maybe it was let's say let's say his memory centers were some of the last things to be restored maybe it's that maybe they are purpose bits of them were, were retained yeah. but Wanda purposefully deleted them so mm. that, you know so that he wouldn't remember mm. i because also i mean it also takes away that fact of him when he died never wanted to be used as a machine yeah. and all that stuff um, so I guess it also takes away that. So I mean, like, if he did have his memory, he'd be like, "Why did you bring me back? I never wanted this to happen." Yeah. Like, so I, I wonder what, like, like I mean, we've seen already that Vision can't trust Wanda, and he's just yeah. like, mm. "I don't trust you at all." Um. So I wonder, like, once he, if he, if he gets his memories back, what he's going to do, and like how he's going to sort of react towards Wanda, and how. Wanda will react because she's very uncontrollable at the moment. So, mm. yeah, it'll be very unpredictable. Yeah, I, I, but I really do like the idea that's like, I was just saying, I really do like the idea that, yeah, no, she she can't keep him in line the way she can the others. Mm. And that, yeah. You know, it, I was going to say, well, one, this is, this is literally, there's no evidence to this whatsoever. Sight, just a tiny little thing. It's good to me that seemingly that bit in the trailer where it's like yeah where well, agnes is just sort of sitting there in the car so looking dead ahead frozen mm -hmm. and vision's sort of up like flying around looking at everything just as a witch it's worth noting. what's her just a witch just a uh just uh, the fact that she's like seemingly, seemingly frozen there like you know not moving everything this is this is no evidence here whatsoever it's just an idea just i thought well i mean we have just in this episode introduced someone that is known to move at a speed where everybody else is just standing still Mm. what if he's Ooh. i know what if he grabs vision and like starts like brings vision into like his speed or something and then they're going around the town at that speed and maybe when vision touches her he like brings her into there it would be it would be not how we've seen pietro's powers work before it'd be more like in um in the flash when barry goes into he's moving so fast he goes like into a time bubble where it's everything's moving so slowly because he just and he can bring people into it yeah, we 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 never seen Pietro do that, so I don't know if it works. No, nah, because it, it the original Pietro in the is... MCU is just yeah. a blue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah but it just it just it... doing some pretty impressive stuff with her powers. That's true. Mm, yeah, it's too. definitely only reason I only reason I think that is just good for, uh, for why is everybody or at least well, I mean, if Vision is out exploring the town, then everybody must be frozen. So I think yeah, why is everybody frozen? Why what would be the reason why everyone's just standing perfectly still? Mm. unless yeah i don't know maybe him and pietro go into this into speed a speed yeah um speed for, they're like they're in, a, they're in it moving fast enough and pietro can bring him with him where it's like everything is standing still for them 
maybe. Yeah. I don't know. It's an idea. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens in that situation, whether it's Pietro or maybe Wanda's done something or maybe she's trying to reverse it or something. Mm. I don't know. But we'll, I guess we'll see next episode. Yeah. <laughs> have to wait another week, <laughs> God damn it! Oh, Mitch that can was... do the outro because oh, yeah, he... Yeah. he... <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, yeah okay. All right. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you all for joining us this week. And we'll see you again next week. And remember, for the children. For the children. Did I do it? Yeah, you did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. Don't don't worry, don't worry about it. <laughs> Bye, see you guys everyone. Next week. Nothing, there's nothing weird at all happening here. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Brian. <laughs> Woo!